welcome back to Angel's Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for your monthly general love message. And of course, we're getting right into the couple's love relationship for the month. General love. Yes, yes, yes. And all of the cards, for some reason, I feel need to be right side up this month. So let's get right into it, okay? All right, let's move on to my mama's deck. Angels, high vibrations for lovely, lovely Leos who are in a beautiful, beautiful, committed bond. Thank you and thank you, angels. Thank you. Now let's go ahead and add the writer deck. Yes, angels, high vibrations. Ah, we're going to do right side up. Yes, we are. Angels, okay, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Angels, high vibrations for lovely, powerful, yes, lovely, powerful Leo in your relationship. Let's go ahead and top it off with the dragon's deck. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, angels. What's the good news? What's the good news for lovely, powerful Leo? Okay, so the major theme for your relationship this month is sexual freedom. I feel like there is a bit of um, high intensity when it comes to um, your intimacy this month, a little bit more than intimacy, okay? I feel like with the seven of hearts, maybe even too much if like maybe someone wants more or yeah, somebody, depending on where you're sitting in the reading, maybe somebody wants less um, of that in there. But yet here they keep coming with the King of Cups and you don't even know why um, their energy is either, this is, I, I'm picking up for some of you, the energy is really high sexually or for some of you, it feels like there's not enough. And you're going to find out by the beginning of the month, okay, which one. Either way, if it's not enough, you want to know why. If it's overly, you want to know why, okay? All right, now let's take a peek at your recent past. You had love within your beautiful bond with the King of Hearts, the Queen of Wands, and consistent. So in the recent past, yes, there was a lot of love between the two of you. I feel like your partner um, showered you with gifts and, and made you feel very, very special. And they were consistent about it, okay? All right, now that was in the recent past. Now, in the middle of the month, we have the distorted feminine or masculine with the jack of hearts, the chariot card, and the fertile. So in the middle of the month with the distorted feminine energy or masculine energy, I feel like your partner is up to something. Yeah, they're up to something. And I feel like there needs to be a sacrifice if, um, if this is to continue to go forward. I feel like something needs to grow. Maybe someone is needing... Um, if let's say the the lack of intimacy or sexual energy has kind of gone down maybe someone needs to sacrifice and maybe get hormone pills or maybe for women hormone pills for guys whatever guys <laughs> too i don't know but there could be a sacrifice when it comes to that now if it's the opposite maybe the sacrifice i feel is you know toning it down a little bit okay all right in the middle of the month this feels like a very sexual month for you too now when we look at the end of the month we have luminosity we have 10 of clubs the moon card and the multitask so yes by the end of the month you two are definitely focusing on communication you guys are talking a lot. You're listening to one another. With the moon card, there's something that you don't understand about your partner and your partner doesn't understand about you. But with the multitask, you're going to have to look at the situation from a different set of eyes. Not yours, theirs, okay? And that there lies the challenge, all right? Now, let's take a peek at your bonus. You have compatibility. You have the queen of hearts the king of wands, and resilience. So no matter what goes on this month, you guys are still actually getting along 
fabulously. There is intimacy. There is love. I feel like you're going to pay a little bit less attention to it for those of you who need to take, pay a little less attention to it. And for those that need to pay more attention to it, they will. And resilience, you're willing to put in the work either for more or for less. This is a major theme for the month. All right. So I'm going to leave that there and we're going to move on to the singles. All right. So now since you two, yes, since you two have gotten your reading first, please be kind, please be kind and time stamp, pay it forward for the singles. I would very much appreciate that. Okay. Now we're just picking up some cards here, singles, and then we'll get right into your message. Okay. Now, are we ready? Singles. Mm, like, yeah, come on, Dora. What you got? Give us some upright cards as well. Angels and guides, high vibrations for lovely, lovely Leos looking for looking for love. Thank you, and thank you. Now moving on to my mama's deck for lovely. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. There we go. Hmm. Looking for love for singles. What's going on? Positive energy, high vibrations. Yes, and remember, we're going to, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to do this all right side up. Thank you, and thank you. Now, we're going to tap it up with the dragon's deck, and we're going to get right into your message. Hmm. Angels, what's going on? Thank you, and thank you. Now, sit back, relax. Let's see what's going on here. Singles. Let's see. We have the gardener, major theme. The gardener, you're putting in the work with the queen of diamonds. You're not really wanting to, but you're going to do it. With the five of swords, somebody's walking away. Huh, and observe. Okay, so I feel like you're putting in the work. You singles are putting in the work. Um, I feel like with the queen of pentacles, this is, yeah, you can do it. Yeah, you have the power to do it. But I feel you walking away. Some of you are in a third party situation and you're not, you're, you're seeing it for what it is. And I feel like you want to walk away from it. Or I feel like... I feel like you're putting in the work, like you're, I feel like you're putting in the work with something that doesn't, it, I feel like you're not feeling it's worth its while. Um, why do I see you walking away from a third party situation? I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to just going to go with that. I see you walking away from, and it doesn't necessarily have to be, um, yeah, it does. And this is love. Okay. I see you walking away from a 30 part. Thir you put in a lot of work. You put in a lot of effort and you're just not seeing what you want to see out of it. Okay. Now let's take a peek at your bonus, at your recent past. You have worthiness. Yes. With the two of spades, the Empress card and success. So I feel like in the recent past, you were working on your self worth in all of your love partnerships. You were feeling yourself because you were putting in so much love. And you know, with the success, it was working out. It definitely was working out. Now that was in the past. Now in the middle of the month, you have the intimacy card with the 10 of diamonds, the, ten, the five of swords, wands, and renewal. You know, okay, so I feel whatever this re re relationship is, I see in the middle of the month, you're kind of going back to it. And there's something around it. Maybe you have money or maybe they have money, but I see there's a lot of abundance around this union. But I feel like there's going to be some type of argument that comes up renewal that comes up again and maybe it has to do with that third party situation now let's take a peek at the end of the month you have reparenting yourself you have the joker the fool card defense and fun so by the end of the month i see you taking time out for you loving on you nurturing you you this is not something that you expected but i see you going in a completely new direction i see that you are not turning back 
No, you're defending what you are doing and it's time for you to go out and you have your fun, okay? Now, let's take a peek at your bonus. We have Rainbow Reviver, the Seven of Spades, the, the, six, the Five of Pentacles, and Relax. So I feel like, I feel like you, when it comes to love, I feel like you're going to meet someone else. And with the seven of spades, it feels like you're going to have to not put any, it, it's almost like this person might not be like the person you're used to dating. This person might not be, haven't had the amount of money that you're, you may, they might be broke, right? They might not have the money that you um, expect, but I feel like just relax into this. I feel like you're going to at least have some fun in this regard, okay? This is a month of, I feel like you're, you're playing out this play like you're in this situation where you're not so certain this is where you should be you're looking at it from the outside like you're outside of it and you're just looking at yourself like you're not in it and you're observing how you what role you play in this I feel like um I feel like things in the middle of the month, it feels like it's coming back again, it's getting better, but then there's something else that comes up with like more than more than two or three people, there's an argument coming, and I feel like this is the same argument you've been having over and over and over again. So it feels like you can go out, you can meet new people, remember your self-worth in this, okay? So I'm going to leave that there. I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.